We have seen sparks in dynamo electric machines. When the motor rotates there are sparks on the commutator surface. Nikola Tesla designed commutators for dynamo electric machines. By his design he prevented the arc lights that was created by sparks. So today we will discuss the commutators designed by Nikola Tesla to prevent the creation of sparks. Welcome to my channel Science Engineering Technology Simplified. Now first we will see reason for spark formation then we will discuss the commutator design of Nikola Tesla. Here we have coils, commutators, brushes. In DC machine commutators implies the reversal of current in a coil. When a coil crosses a brush the current in the coil is reversed. During commutation current in the coil changes from plus I to minus I. Here we can see that coil H, I and J carries current plus I in right direction and, and coil K, L carries current minus I in left direction. And total current through the brush is 2I. Now when the coil will move towards right, that is rotation of coil will take place the direction of current in the coil J will be reversed from right to left. Suppose coil H, I, and J are carrying current 10 ampere and coil K and L are carrying current of minus 10 ampere. Then current of 20 ampere will flow through one commutator, because only one commutator is in contact with the brush. Now when the coil J will move towards right then initially a small area of the next commutator will come in contact with the brush. Then according to formula, resistain equal to resistivity into length divided by area. The small area of the commutator will provide more resistance therefore only small amount of current will flow through that next commutator. Suppose 2 ampere will flow through the commutator. So rest 8 ampere will flow through the coil. And now also 20 ampere of current will flow through the brush, because current of the brush does not change. Now when the coil J will move to right further, more area of the next commutator will come in contact with the brush, and thus resistance of G next commutator will decrease, and now more current will flow through it. Suppose 5 ampere will flow through commutator and rest 5 ampere will flow through coil J therefore current in the coil keeps on decreasing. When area of contact of the next commutator keeps on increasing. Because as the area of contact increases the resistance of the commutator decreases, and thus more and more current can pass through commutator easily than through coil because the wires of the coil has less area therefore it provides more resistance as compared to commutator. Now a time will come when entire 10 ampere current will flow through the commutator and no current will flow through coil. When the coil J will move to right further, area of the previous commutator that was in contact with brush will start decreasing. Therefore current will start decreasing from 10 ampere. Suppose now 5 ampere will flow through this commutator. Rest 5 ampere will flow through coil J in reverse direction. That is left direction. When coil J will move to right further, area of the previous commutator will decrease. Therefore current will further decrease. Now suppose 2 ampere will flow from commutator. And rest 8 ampere will flow from coil. In left direction. Now the coil J will move to right further. So previous commutator will lose contact with the brush. And entire 10 ampere will flow through the coil J. In left direction. Now the ideal time required for commutation. That is current reversal is 
TIDEAL equal to brush width divided by commutator speed and commutator speed is equal to rotor speed. But this is ideal case. In reality coil is an inductor. Therefore it opposes the change of current. Let actual time taken be T real. If T real is greater than T ideal, then it is called under commutation. If T real is less than T ideal, then it is called over commutation. In over commutation sparks are generated. That is when commutator comes out of contact with the brush. The charge on the commutator ionizes the air and jumps to the brush causing sparks. Now this sparking may be reduced by various devices, such as providing a path for the current at the moment when the commutator loses the contact with the brush. But Nikola Tesla designed a simple way to prevent this jumping of charge. And thus by his design he was successful in stopping the sparks. He made arrangement for asbestos paper or other insulating material, preferably incombustible, on the surface of the brush with the help of the springs. The pressure on the spring were adjusted with the help of screws. It was seen that whenever the commutator segment came out of contact with the brush, the intervening material came in contact with the insulating material on the brush. Here intervening material is mica, on which commutators are fixed, and insulating material is asbestos, which is present on the brush. Thus sparks were prevented. Now why did this happen? The sparking was stopped. Because insulating material like asbestos has high dielectric constant. Asbestos has dielectric constant of 3. And air has dielectric constant of 1. Therefore here asbestos acted a barrier and prevented the charge from commutator to jump on the brush. In this way Nikola Tesla stopped the sparking of commutators by his simple design. I hope that you liked my video. Please give it a thumbs up and comment your suggestions below. You can also write the next topic in the comment section on which you want a video. And please don't forget to check the description section.